if you want to create 3D assets for your game, Blender is one of the most popular applications in the world, if not the most popular choice for aspiring 3D artists and hobbyists. You can download Blender to your PC and begin using it in a matter of minutes, without any string attached. But is Blender just for hobbyists enjoying life at home or is it something used by small and large game studios? In this video, we are going to list some of the game studios that use Blender 3D in their pipeline. Now without further ado, let's get started. This video is brought to you by Learn to Make Looping Animations, a Blender course that teaches you to create 4 high quality looping animations step by step. Check it up in the link below. NetEase NetEase is a Chinese internet technology company providing online services on content, community, communication and commerce. The company was founded in 1997 and later developed NetEase Games, which is a division for making online games. It is developing and operating some of the most popular mobile and PC games in markets including China and Japan. As one of the world's largest incubators of quality online game content and to complement its self-developed games, NetEase Games also partnered with other industry leaders such as Blizzard and Mojang. NetEase is one of Blender Patreons and they used it to create their 3D mobile and PC online games like Life After and Knives Out. Ubisoft Ubisoft is the ninth largest game company by net revenue. The company originally Ubisoft Entertainment was founded in France in March 1986. It has subsidiaries in 26 countries throughout the world. It has a revenue of $2.5 billion. It created some of the most popular games like Assassin's Creed, Just Dance, Watch Dogs, Rayman, Far Cry and Tom Clancy video game series. In July 22, 2019, Ubisoft announced joining the Blender Development Fund as a corporate gold member. Also they stated that they will also use Blender for their production. As their head of production at Ubisoft Animation Studio says, Blender was for us an obvious choice. Its strong and engaged community paired up with the vision carried by the Blender Foundation makes it one of the most creative DCCs of the market. Embark Studios Embark Studios was created in November 2018 by six industry veterans. This studio started to use Blender because it can do modeling, texturing, shading, and he also gives real-time rendering capabilities. Daniel Bisted, the senior character artist, said that the most important feature of Blender that the studio uses is the approachable and non-destructive modeling tools and modifiers. The real-time viewport EV is also priceless when it comes to evaluating your model and textures before importing them to Unreal Engine. He also said they really like creating real-time hair in Blender by using classic hair cards approach and also from importing grooms into Unreal Engine when exported as a curve object with multiple supplies to Olympics. Gameloft Gameloft is a French video game publisher based in Paris, founded in December 1999 by Ubisoft co-founder. The company operates 18 development studios worldwide and publishes games with a special focus on the mobile games market. They created some really popular mobile games like Dragon Mania, March of Empires, Asphalt and others. Now there is not a clear announcement or statement that the studio uses Blender, but they have announced some remote jobs for concept artists with Blender knowledge and experience. So we can assume that they use Blender somehow to a certain extent. Egosoft Egosoft is a German video game developer. The company was founded in 1988. Egosoft is best known for its X series of video games, a series of space simulator games noted for combining open-ended gameplay, dynamic market-driven economy, and compelling storyline. 
and during one of their live streams, they talked about their future games and an Egosoft developer said, I use Blender and it's an open source 3D creation tool since 2008. The studio is probably using 3ds Max, but now they are integrating Blender into their pipeline. EA Games EA Games is an American video game company headquartered in Redwood City, California. Founded in May 1982 by Apple employee, the company was a pioneer of the early home computer game industry and promoted the designers and programmers responsible for its games. The company is responsible for creating games like Battlefield, Crisis, Formula 1 22, Mass Effect Legendary Edition, and FIFA 22. This company uses Blender as a side 3D program to make concept art and concept design. Paper Bunker Paper Bunker is a small indie studio working on creating games for mobile, VR, and PC. They have more than 10 million downloads. Some of their games are The Pillar, Splash Car, and Horror Night Story VR. Now they are trying to bring their games to other platforms, and of course most of their game assets are created using Blender 3D. Infinity World Infinity World is an American video game developer. They developed the video games Call of Duty, Skylanders, Guitar Hero, along with seven other installments in the Call of Duty series. The company is recruiting artists that have experience with working in Blender, so we can say that this studio is using Blender 3D in their pipeline somehow. Blender is one of the most accessible 3D modeling applications available, and in recent years it has demonstrated growth at a much faster rate than even the Autodesk alternative, despite their heavy financial banking. The current trend across all industries shows that startups and younger companies in particular are leaning toward Blender as their software of choice for the future. And even some of the bigger companies in the industry like Ubisoft and Epic Games are committing their time and money behind what is in my opinion one of the greatest community inspired projects that the technology world has ever seen. That's it for this video, tell me in the comments below what do you think about the use of Blender in game studios, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one, thank you for watching, goodbye.